Korbel was founded in 1882 by three Czechoslovak brothers named Korbel. It was purchased by Adolf Heck in 1954. Heck's son, Gary, took over in 1984, and over time increased production from 150,000 to 1.3 million cases per year, making Korbel the 12th largest wine producer in the United States as of 2011. In the mid-1800 America offered new hope to three brothers seeking to escape political unrest in their European homeland. Emigrating from Czechoslovakia to the United States, brothers Francis, Anton, and Joseph Korbel found success in exchange for their hard work and innovation. F. Korbel and brothers began as a manufacturing business in San Francisco that produced materials for the building industry. As their enterprise expanded, the brothers eventually acquired a sawmill and began a full-scale lumber operation near the town of Guerneville in Sonoma County. The Korbels, born in the farmlands of the province of Bohemia, today's western Czechoslovakia, found the remote and rugged redwood country in Sonoma County irresistible. Lured by the beauty and opportunity of the mountainous timberlands, the brothers eventually moved their families from San Francisco and settled in the Russian River Valley. As Northern California's lumber boom slowed, the Korbels turned their attention to farming the bottomlands of their Russian River Valley ranch. Here the soil was sandy, the mornings were filled with fog from the nearby Pacific Ocean, and summer days were long with sunshine. During the late 1870, the Korbels raised prunes, beets, wheat, corn, alfalfa, and operated a commercial dairy. During this time, they planted their first vineyards and began experimenting with different grape varieties, including Pinot Noir early evidence of the Corbel's ambition to become champagne producers. Pinot Noir was an unusual variety for California, it was known primarily as the principal grape of the Champagne region of France. In 1882, the three brothers began a small winemaking operation at their ranch and produced some 20,000 to 30,000 gallons of wine from their vineyard yields. Corbel wines were so well received that two years later the brothers closed their dairy, converted all of their ranch lands to vineyards, and devoted all of their energy to winemaking. A tradition that was to become a legacy was well underway. The first Corbel Champagnes the Corbel Winery continued to grow throughout the 1880. It was during this time that the Corbels sent for winemaker Frank Hasek in Prague to come to the United States to be their champagne master. Employing the time-honored French method of producing champagne, Method Champ Noise, the Corbels quietly, but aggressively, experimented with cubies. By the mid-1890, the Corbels shipped their first champagnes, and by the turn of the century Corbel was an internationally known, award-winning label. Eventually, each of the seven Corbel cousins who owned Corbel Champagne Cellars agreed it was time to sell the winery and vineyards but only on certain terms. The surviving Corbels, seeking to preserve the legacy begun by their fathers, would insist that the buyer carry on the Corbel tradition of producing fine champagne by the method Champ Noise. The one buyer who satisfied all of those conditions was a determined young winemaker named Adolf Heck. In 1954, 72 years after it was founded by the Corbel brothers, Corbel Champagne Cellars was sold to Heck, thus introducing a new chapter and a new family into the Corbel story. As the new owner of Corbel, Adolf set out to pioneer what he described as California-style champagnes. These wines displayed more fruit and less yeast than was typical of European champagnes. In 1956 he reintroduced Corbel Brut in a style that was lighter and drier than any American champagne on the market, making it the first champagne developed specifically for American tastes. Adolf's energetic creativity as champagne master continued with the introduction of additional cubies. Taking advantage of Sonoma County's ability to produce high-quality Pinot Noir and Chardonnay grapes, Adolf introduced Corbel Natural, Corbel Blanc de Blancs, 100% Chardonnay, and Corbel Blanc de Noirs, 100% Pinot Noir, 
all of which he created using champagne yeasts he had developed himself. <laughs>